because you don't belong here any more. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoons to Light. So, last video here, man, uh, for NXT. Although, I think I'm going to change it. I think I'm going to put Rhea helping Dom win the title, uh, NXT, in a uh, North American title from Wesley. Maybe I might do that one last. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, as I'm recording, this is the last one. So, Roxanne Perez, Blair Davenport, backstage interview with Vic Joseph was spectacular. Very good interview. And basically, Vic Joseph asked him a bunch of questions, um, you know, pretty much like, you know, sizing them up. And I didn't know that this match was going to be a Great American Bash. I'm glad because now we got two women's matches on that card. We should have two. Um, since we don't really have a tag team. Well, we have a tag team division, but we don't have a title. So, usually that other match is usually the title. So, I'm good, glad, glad to see that this one, because Roxanne is really good. In the ring, and so is Blair. So this would be an awesome match to have at Great American Bash. So one thing that I like that Blair Davenport said in this was that since this is going to be in a uh, Cedar Park, Texas, which I believe is outside of Dallas, she said Laredo's not too far from there. You could go home for good after that. Don't you ever come back? And bro, she said, she, you know, Perez said she had to control her anxiety in front of her family at the bash. You know, this is going to be in front of her family. This is down in Texas. So, um, this is going to be an emotional match for her. And remember, Roxanne Perez is, has not been on a roll lately. She has been really losing this year. Uh, ever since she dropped the title, or ever since her anxiety attack against Meadow Sekimura, uh, it's, it's just been, uh, Meadow Sekimura, it's been really bad, bro. And um, Blair has taken advantage of that lately as she was the last attack that she had in those mystery attacks. And it's been a pretty good few since. It's been a pretty good few. We've seen a different side of, of Roxanne that I like. It's been more, she's been more intense lately. And I like how her anger built and she just left the interview. I love that. I love that. And Booker had a conversation with her earlier that the NXT anonymous stalker of... Uh, was able to film and Booker was not happy at all that that private conversation was filled. That was funny. Um, but she said she's going to hurt Perez. And I think it's going to be a very interesting match, man. Um, I do got Roxanne. If, if Roxanne gets back on her ways, she could win this. Now, what's interesting is, you know, what they need to do is, because they're playing into the whole, you know, Roxanne seems like she's a little girl type thing. They're playing into that. So, this could get Roxanne back on her roll, back towards the top. I like that. But to me, I want to figure out after this match what they're going to do with Blair. Because I talked about in my last video how they've been having a real talk to Lyra Valkyria. And I, I wouldn't mind if Rhea did recruit Lyra Valkyria, but the the only problem that I have is because she's a baby face. I actually like her more as a baby face right now. Would it make would it actually make more sense to recruit Blair Davenport and Tatum Paxley into Judgment Day? Or is they just setting up a match between those two? So those are things that I was wondering about. Because I'm already kinda I always kinda look ahead to things that's going on in the future. So that's one of the things I was thinking about. But give me your thoughts on this and how I definitely want to hear from y'all that be having the great ideas. Y'all know who y'all are, man. I want to hear from y'all how y'all will book this because I definitely need some help on this one, man. Um, how y'all will book Ro Roxanne Perez as well because there's some things that's it's, it's kind of unknown right now. But uh, go on ahead and give this video a like. Uh, share y'all thoughts. Subscribe to the channel. Thank y'all for watching. I'm going to see y'all. Hopefully, I can do level up this week. I don't know what the matches is just yet, but hopefully, I can do it this week. But I'll see y'all next week for NXT. Thank y'all for watching. After news delight.